In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to get a camera to follow a character in a 3D game, how to set up more than one camera and how to switch between them. The starting point for the tutorial is this file. It has the rigged Android model and the logic bricks to move it around and the logic bricks to collect the cans. If you work through my tutorials you should have a similar file but I will put the starting point file on my website. To make the camera follow the Android we make the Android its parent. Before you set up a parent-child relationship make sure the parent doesn't have any residual rotation or scale. If it does go to the object menu apply rotation and scale. Now I'm going to select the camera and in the uh, properties window I'm going to set its parent to be the armature. When you do that the camera inherits some location displacement so we need to set the camera angle to how we want it. In the view menu I'm going to toggle full screen. In the view menu again I'm going to toggle quad view. In the right view I'm going to press R to rotate and I'm going to rotate the camera to about that angle. Then I'm going to toggle full screen and toggle quad view and put the view to camera view. Now that I've adjusted the camera angle I'm going to start the game and as we play the game the camera follows the Android. I'm going to add another camera but before I do that I'm going to move the insertion cursor to the center so I've gone to the object menu snap cursor to center add menu add camera properties for the new camera I will rename it camera top um, by default the camera is pointing straight down so all I have to do is move the camera up and to do that I'm going to enter a large value 80 for its Z location. Uh, I'm in the view menu I'm going to cameras set active object as camera and I'm going to start the game and there we are playing the game through the new camera. Escape. So how do we change camera while playing the game? Well there's an empty object rename game already set up for general control of the game. For instance it's got a score property and when the Android walks into a can a message is received and one is added to the score. I'm going to add a keyboard sensor and I'm going to detect the press of N for normal. That will send a si signal straight to an AND gate and I'm going to add a scene actuator and one of the options for the scene actuator is set camera and when N is pressed I want the normal camera to be selected, to be set. So let's see if that works. So I press N and we switch to the normal camera. Escape. I'm going to add another keyboard sensor and I'm going to detect the press of the T key for top camera. I'm going to add another AND gate and I'm going to add another scene actuator and choose set camera and choose the top camera now, connect that up and now when I start the game we can switch between the two cameras pressing N for normal camera and T for top camera. Escape out of that. One last thing, I'm going to select the armature, I'm going to add a keyboard sensor, I'm going to add an AND gate, I'm going to add a motion actuator. I'm going to name the logic bricks, which you should always do. Left, shift, and the AND gate I'm going to call turbo. 
and the motion actuator are called the same. Turbo. This will detect, I'm pressing the left shift key, connect this up. Signal will go through the AND gate and will go minus 0.2 blender units, which is four times the distance, four times as quick. And with the up arrow pressed and the shift key will go four times as quick. So let's start the game. And as I press the up arrow, he goes forward. If I press shift, he goes a lot quicker. Um, let's go into normal camera forward and with shift he goes a lot quicker escape that's the end of this tutorial i'll put the start file and the end file at my website freemovies.co.uk at the blender channel there thanks for watching and goodbye